Now, this one got recommended for a specific reason, I believe. I wonder why. <laughs> What's up, you're watching Hive Mind, the fishiest show on the internet. My name is Riley, and as always, I'm joined by my infinite co-host, Graydon. I am everywhere, I am nowhere, I am dead, and I am alive. Today we're strolling back into that old critique room. This is the, the ultimate, ultimate album art tier, tier list. list. All right, now here's why this one is ultimate. We've done these before, we've ranked album artwork in mm -hmm. this tier list format, but this time we asked our patrons. That's right, our Patreon members have selected all of the albums for today's tier list. So this is what you guys wanted to see us rank that we have not ranked yet. If you want to participate in segments like these, please join our Patreon. It's $5 a month. It's the best way to support us and you get a bunch of cool perks like participating in these as well as extra content. Yes. All right, before we get into it, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, HiveMindTV.com for our merch, and like we said, Patreon. Uh, other than that, we do have one last thing to mention, and that is, today's video is sponsored by OK Drugs. Drugs. CBD Peach Eatables, they are a wonderful longtime sponsor. Stick around for later in the video, we'll tell you a little bit more about them. There's a little fun story in there too. Turn me up, DJ. All right, starting off with a big hitter and a recent birthday boy. Uh-huh. Kanye West himself with graduation. Happy birthday, Mr. West. Happy birthday, Kanye, and happy birthday, Madye. Yes. This album cover, a frequent favorite of a lot of people. Takashi Murakami designed it. A lot of people became a fan of him through this album. Most definitely. Me included. This happy Parthenon wins me over every time. Oh, yeah. Just so happy. There's so <laughs> many details in it. And yes, there are a lot of people who go maximalist with color. Yeah. But Takashi Murakami does it in a way that... I don't think anybody else has really been able to capture. No, it's just tasteful and sweet. I remember seeing it for the first time. I was like awestruck by it. Yeah. That's like what dragged me into Kanye when I was younger. Oh, see, that had it had no effect on me. Album artwork, no effect on me as a child. I see? was like, nah, went to stupid little bear, whatever. Let's get in these raps. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the difference between us, really. For real. Like, yeah. So yeah, this one pulled me in. I mean, I was already a fan of Kanye, but mm -hmm. I remember like being excited about this album because yeah. of the visuals. Like, yeah. I was like, oh wow, this yeah. is really bright. Yeah, and we have no Love is Rage or anything by Uzi without this. You know right. what I mean? There's so many things in rap of the past 10 years that you could never even count on existing without this. Exactly, yeah. So I think for that reason, are we? it's got to be an S. It's, an, it's absolutely an S, too. Yeah. I, couldn't, no, yeah. I couldn't even listen to an argument about how it's not. Yeah. You know? And as far as character design goes, I cannot tell you how many times as somebody who designs album artwork, I've been asked to, I want to do my Kanye bear thing. Right. You know? Make me something that is repeating and is always there. And like a simple character just expounded upon in a way that was really exciting. Like yeah. you think about it, it's just a simple bear. Right. But it's now become synonymous with Kanye and especially the first half of Kanye's career. Yeah. And it was like kind of him pulling the bear out of Polo Ralph Lauren, too. Right. So he's like taking something from fashion, making it his own, and now it has like a whole new meaning. Yeah, and I mean, without this, do you have Bear in the Big Blue House? Do you have Paddington Bear? Do, <laughs> do you, you have, have... <laughs> uh, the Three Bears and Goldilocks? No, you probably have m at best one of the three. Mm -hmm. Do you have Bad News Bears? Do you have the Chicago Bears? No, definitely not. Definitely not. not. They named the team after him. Do you have Bear Grills without this album cover? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no shot. His whole show is just regurgitation of Kanye lyrics right. in the woods. <laughs> Do you have the bare naked ladies? Ah, uh, yeah. You probably, probably did have probably. them, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were more of a 90s thing. So. They're bare naked, too. They're not bears that are naked. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I never saw any of the music videos. I was just a <laughs> Oh, yeah. I that kind of stuff. It's been one week since you looked at me. <laughs> I wish it was bears, dude. They sound like bears. Kind of a little bit, yeah. Starting off high, it always feels good. I always start high, though. I, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the comments know that one. My brain is stoned. <laughs> All right, uh, next we got the Kid Leroy. Whoa, this one's so steamy. Oh, you think it's steamy? Well, he's got, yeah, it's it's anime. He's got his heart mm -hmm. in his hands. Right. They're like in the middle of an intersection. Yeah, like a cyber intersection yeah. of some sort. It's yeah. steamy, dude. If you're telling me this isn't steamy, I don't know what is. It's interesting because definitely you've seen in the past five years of underground rap, SoundCloud rap, there's so much anime imagery yes. or at least like Eastern takes yeah. on cartoon artwork. And they're usually not done really well. I think this is done well, but like not a standout. Yeah. It just doesn't feel iconic. No, it's done really well, doesn't feel iconic, and it also doesn't really like fit the imagery here. I feel like mm -hmm. Leroy's so young and came on the scene, even younger, obviously, Yeah, that it's hard for me to like 
he didn't think of this or create this. You know what I mean? Yeah. All his imagery and aesthetics is so like pumped out of the factory of you uh-huh, know uh-huh. a label that it's hard for me to like attach the two. Yeah, I don't see this and think of the like. Right. I, I don't think see the Kid Leroy and think of this. Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah. I just don't. And it, outside of that, though, it is nice art. It yeah. does look cool. So I would say as album artwork, I would give this a very low rating. But as mm-hmm. a piece of right of artwork, I think it's great. And yeah. It's well done, and the artist did a great job. Yeah. I just think. As artwork, it's like a D to yeah, me. Yeah, that's right where I was going to go. I was so, going to go C, D. Great See what job. I did there? It's like a C, D. Big Fish Theory. <laughs> Vince Staples. God, is this a good cover. I love this cover for so many different reasons. <laughs> One of them being that it is a close-up on a goldfish that it doesn't even show the form of a goldfish. Nope. And you still know immediately. Yes. This is like, this one feels really ahead of its time. Yeah. Because this album came out, what, 2018? Uh, I had to be before that. Yeah, 2016 Some, even? I don't even know, yeah. But like now the crop in on the bigger photo is mm-hmm. like such a funny like meme thing. Yeah. And this just like, this makes me smile. Just yeah, like me too. Just like looking at him like, ha <laughs> like thinking well. he's about to say something. Yeah. yeah. Hey! <laughs> and obviously there's like color theory at play here. Right. Like the, the uh, complementary colors of the orange and the blue. It's mm-hmm. a really standout image. It's grainy because it, it adds to the idea that it not only feels like old or vintage, but it's very zoomed in. Yeah. I think there's like a lot of great stuff here. I do too. And oddly enough, I want to put it up in like an A. Oh, it's definitely an A. It's yeah. a borderline S. It's yeah. so iconic. Yeah, I think it's really good. And I didn't even really like this project, but... Yeah, I, I liked it. I, it grew on me over time, for yeah. sure. I liked it, but not as much as other Vince projects. Yeah, let's go A with that. Big A for the big fish. Next, we got Exeter by Blade. <sighs> Holy smokes. Quinn was just playing me some of this before we did this. Uh, I like all Blade's artwork. Is it always the same artist? Does he outsource to different people? Uh, I wish I knew more. Yeah. I honestly don't. Um, but I always like how maximalist and colorful mm-hmm. it is, but Absolutely. this one's specifically feels like it's almost drawing on like ICP imagery. Yeah. Like with insane like, clown posse. Yeah, you have like a clown-like face, but I love this like idea of it being like a 19th century French like royal or something with a big curly wig on. Yeah, like founding thing. father's vibes. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. Uh, and you almost have like family crests on either side. <laughs> yeah, it's very like emblematic. Yes. Like it has a lot of really cool symbolic imagery mm-hmm. and I don't know necessarily what all of it means but it has just a, a, a feeling like when you see it it just burns in your memory. Yeah. You just remember it. You and know? it plays with all those old symbols but always like kind of reduced to almost like a childlike way of drawing. Oh, And I yeah. think that balance is like perfect for his music. It's kind of like a school notebook drawing of something that is very classic and yes. rigid and supposed to be beautiful yeah, and big detailed. and royal, yeah. you know? This could be an S. I think it's an A. Okay. I think it's an A. I don't, I don't want to go quite S with it. We don't um, want to go S crazy. No, I don't want to go S crazy off the bat. <laughs> I can't just put Exeter next to graduation yet. You know what I mean? Well, in due time, they will inevitably be next to each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we do reserve the right to change any of these at the end. You know, Whenever so stick we around want. for yeah. that. Usually we each have one that yeah. we switch at the end. We'll get some twists. Okay. Logic. Yes. The un- whatever, the unbelievable true story mm-hmm. or whatever that one is. Yeah. As unlikable as a character, just from my perspective as Logic is, I'm always obsessed with the covers. Oh, I love the covers. Incredible paintings. Uh, this one especially was the first one that really wowed me. Yeah. Like Under Pressure came out before this and that's a great cover as well. But this one I was like, wow, it is. it really looks like a painting of like Star Trek or yep. something where the, the story like... It has this one tense moment, this tense frame from a story that feels like it's out of a movie. Yeah. And that really is, as for as cinematic as Logic is, I think that's super effective. Yeah. And it's like the perspective from the dashboard here. And there's no focus like to that point, it's just kind of like peering up at them. It just looks so good. And the concerned faces yeah. in the uh, details like are going on? like, oh, we like steer us, logic, yeah, steer us. Is, you know? Can you save us, Captain Logic? Yeah, it's like <laughs> the asteroids are coming fast and, and he looks so calm and ready to steer it. It's and really bars. It's really well done. And it also now reminds me of the young thug and little Dirk meme where yeah. they're looking at the computer <laughs> thing and he's like, Yeah. <laughs> the glow also, I just have to say, the the soft light blue glow globe behind the Logic's back. head is masterful. It's beautiful, yeah. And I, then the tiny parental advisory. Yeah, I don't like the reverse parental advisories literally ever. I don't like how it's like reversed out so there's no black right. behind it, but that's like a nitpicky thing. This is an we'll amazing, forgive it. amazing album cover. Um, I'm down to put it on A. Wow. 
the biggest love Logic's ever gotten from us, honestly. Yeah. We're changed men. Reformed. Reformed mm -hmm. Christians. <laughs> Here we go. Holy <laughs> smokes. DJ Khaled suffering from success. This is a first time reaction for me. I've never seen this one. You've never even seen it in meme form? No. This has been used as a meme over the years many, many, many a, time. a time. I think this is an older <laughs> album of his, but I've only seen it in that context to the point where I almost didn't know if it was like an album or like a promotional piece of artwork or that poster. That just got trolled over yeah. time. Yeah, so it's been used for a lot of different things. It's real and it's powerful. Oh, yeah. We are out in the mountains with a storm brewing. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the DJ himself is just decorated in jewelry. Oh, Almost yeah. Almost like, looks like a heavy amount. Yeah. Thousand plus chains there, endless amount of watches. It's almost like he's caught somewhere between the new age luxury mm -hmm. and like a Lord of the Rings character covered in like yes. chain mail. This is what like, I'm picturing you know? is like, he's like an ancient leader and like his army has been decimated across the battlefield and he's just, or maybe, maybe they've won so many battles, but he's tired. He's far from home. Mm. He's got all these riches from war. Yes. But he's suffering from success. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. And it just stands for so much, you know, yeah. like suffering from success. Not a lot of people like to talk about that. Everybody yeah. thinks, you know, you get rich, you get successful and you're happy. Mm -hmm. But DJ Khaled has proven. He was depressed yeah. until he found Snapchat. So <laughs> just like a lot of us, actually. I think it was really when he bought the Wave Runner that it really uh, yeah. flipped around for him. Yeah. So like Daniel Tosh said back in the day, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a Wave Runner. Mm -hmm. And so. I've never seen someone sad on a Wave Runner. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. First for everything, we're rehashing Tosh.0 bits, and <laughs> we're ranking an old DJ Khaled album. This is a perfect C. Uh, yeah, I, I almost feel like it's one of those that it's just an F and an S at the same time, yes. and it ends up being a C. Yes, that's exactly how I feel about but it. I kind of want to put it on F anyway, because F has like, you know, F, there's the distinguished thing about getting an F. Mm -hmm. It's You don't just put something that sucks on F. Right. It has to suck so bad that it's good. This is a special suck. Yes. Like, an, a, like you're off like a 30th anniversary type deal. Everybody loves a special <laughs> suck, dude. You know what I mean? You know, you, you get that special suck one. A New Year's Eve type of suck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you get that Mark Zuckerberg, dude. Oh. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Good Kid, Mad City, the original version. Mm -hmm. It's styled like a Polaroid, but it's yeah. an old picture of Kendrick as a child. Yes. From what I understand. I wish I knew more about this story. Yeah, me too. Of why I'm, he picked this. But, I'm sure it goes very deep. But the eyes blacked out with like sensor bars, uh -huh. and then uh, both of them styled like a wrinkled Polaroid, like an yeah. old aged Polaroid. And then like the personal handwriting entitled at the yeah. bottom is always a touch, he adds. This is like digging through an old shoebox of old parents' photos mm -hmm. sort of deal. There's a lot of weird details and like the quality of the photo is uh, yeah. just like adds this sort of nostalgia to everything. And like the animidity of the other characters in it almost makes it seem like it's like not heartwarming and nostalgic. No. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, here's an old, is me and my family. It's like, here's me as a child and you don't get to know these other people in here. Yeah, it's just a midst, he's in the midst of this story. Yeah. And everybody else is kind of like playing their part in it. It's very, yeah, it's, an, it's ominous. It's yes. weird. Ominous and like definitely evokes a lot of emotion. Yeah, totally. I like it a lot, but it's not like the most artistic thing. It's just like... This is one of the cases where it's like the music behind it adds so much to it. I agree. Because if this was a Logic album behind this, I'd be like, well, right. You know. And the childhood photo has been done a lot of different times. Right. This is a good example of it. But I'll be honest, when I think of Good Kid, Mad City in my head, I think of the deluxe edition cover. Right. I just do. Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I saw the CDs back in the day mm -hmm. or whatever it is, but I always think of the other cover. The tapes, the eight tracks, the <laughs> yeah. records, you yeah. know, all that stuff. I think it's a B. Yeah. I, I'm sure we'll get crucified for that, but whatever. I, this is our opinion. You yeah. know, you can make your own tier list whenever you want. <laughs> this website is free. Tier maker. Maybe if it was a zoomed in picture on a fish, we'd rank it a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. And we're going straight into Good Kid Mad City uh, Deluxe Edition. The Dodge Caravan. Or it's a town. What is it? Chrysler? El Camino. Yeah. El Camino. God, uh, you know your cars. It's uh, a Hemi. Ooh. Uh, actually, no, I think this is a Corvette. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is the one that I always think of. Uh -huh. uh, 
it stylized the exact same as the other one still feels like the old Polaroid but it just I don't know what it is, but it's just the the car in the neighborhood. It just makes you wonder. That sunny day, not a cloud in the sky, almost bubble lens skater angle on yep, it. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a Beastie Boys. Sort yeah, of situation. rounded on the sides, kind of blows out the van's ass a little bit. Oh makes yeah, it look <laughs> even thicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody like the lines of a minivan are just that's like. You know, it's like the perfect circle. Or I know. Whatever, hey, know? It's a serious album, but I, I'll tell you what. I had some nasty thoughts about the van. I can't oh, lie. Yeah. The van itself, not anybody, like nothing, no. just the van. I need me someone built like a Chrysler town and country. <laughs> I need a girl built like a Honda Odyssey, bro. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> this one's an A. I think this is an S. You think it's an S? It's so iconic, and I know that like I'm gonna they're gonna break rules. I'm gonna say rules yeah. and I'm gonna break them. But like, <laughs> but and people are gonna be like, you just love the album. Uh -huh. Whatever, I That's don't fine. care. That's why. Yeah. But it, you can pull it down to an A if you want. No, I'm, I'm not going to fight to pull Kendrick's best album down. But people always criticize. They say that I'm just like steering the shit. Put it on an A then. All right, there you go. There <laughs> you go. See, that's all I want is for you to stick up for yourself. Thanks, man. You're the first person ever in my life to tell me that. I can tell. <laughs> uh, next, we got testing ASAP Rocky. I loved these visuals. You did? The whole album leading up to it, the like the videos that were done for it. All the little teasers and it, even the album cover I really liked. But I did not love the album that much, mm -hmm. you know? Um, let me ask you one question about it. I know you love it. Uh-huh. Uh, if you just took testing and just put Fast and Furious yes. in there, do you think it would work still? For the movie yes. or for, for the movie. Rocky himself? No, for the movie. No. Oh, see? I always just associate this cover with, with Fast, Fast and, and the Furious. Furious. I don't know why, and I haven't seen, I've seen Tokyo Drift and that's it, and I don't watch action movies, but every time I see this, I'm like, it just looks like the Fast and the Furious. Oh, movie. the new Fast and, oh, no, just listen nope. to ASAP Rocky. Just ASAP Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. I mean, the big, bold text angle that, like, the speed, speed angle, there's got to be a specific angle that, like, induces the idea of speed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> It also has the caution thing. Like, that's how mm -hmm. it's branded on all right. the other stuff is, like, the yellow and black. Like, the, test crash dummies and yeah, stuff like it has, that. I mean, it was definitely well-branded, and I like it a lot. I also like the just the composition of it yeah. with everybody kind of filling out the sides. Yeah. It's not perfect, but it is, like, it creates this vignette for the thing to sit in the middle. Mm -hmm. And I generally like graphics centered middle. Yeah, me too. So... I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion about this one other than I think it's well-branded rollout. That's. Know? I mean, that's mostly how I felt. But I think this album, like just as an album cover, I think this is like an A. Okay. I'm cool with that. I, okay. I definitely like it, especially color scheme and stuff too. And just they're mobbing, you know. Next, we got one that was requested a bunch and a newer album. This is Eric DOA's COA. Wow, he's about to get whipped. Yeah, it's a BDSM vibe, you know what I mean? But he is like a throne. pharaoh. Yeah, like a pharaoh getting whipped up on. Uh huh. With the gummo or whatever bunny ears. Oh, is that what they're from? Well, the original gummo, like that old movie, you know? Yeah, no, the Tsukashi 6 9 movie, yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep, I know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. It's like a slice of life, trailer park, Canada, incest, that kind of <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This one is weird because I love the concept. I love what they were going for, and it does evoke the vibe, but I don't think it's super well ac executed on, like, a photography right. thing. Like, it just... I like, totally agree. Yeah, I just don't think it's super well executed. I don't know. This one's like a C or a D to me. We got know? an empty slot right there in the middle, and it could go up or down at the end. That's true. But, I mean, I love this project, by the way, and Eric, yeah. Eric Dua is one of my favorite new artists and all that. I just don't love how this was executed. All right, next we got Issa, 21 Savage. Very iconic. Uh, my friend Sam Hoodlum did this. Yep. That's actually an internet friend of mine, mm -hmm. a good guy. You've seen probably a ton of his like loops and he, used to, he was very popular in this era. This exact era was kind of defined by Sam Hoodlum's yeah, work. Honestly. You see his stuff in Zoomies and all that. Mm, and so. this has got to be the most iconic one for sure. Yeah, um, I don't, it's weird. This is one that has a very contrasting style to what I feel like 21 Savage was doing at the right. time. Yeah. Like there was all this, like I just thought of 21 Savage as super cold blooded and deep down in the trenches. And then you get this bright pink. Essa, and it's got palm trees. Is in it. Yep. I know they're on fire, but it, it's not like they're burning. It's almost like they're cute little fires on them. This is where I think contrast works, but just not quite all the way. Yeah. I think that this is this is very well done, but in terms of capturing the vibe of what 21 Savage is doing or playing off a of contrast, right. I don't think this is like incredible. It, yeah. it feels very SoundCloud artwork from 2017 or 2016, whenever this came out. Yeah, you know? and it was just, the music was so good that it helped the art, I think, kind yeah. of like, 
become even more iconic. But yeah, if it was going for a juxtaposition thing, it needed to be flowery or something like that. Yeah. And I do think also that some of them's work deserved shine by being the the official album artwork mm-hmm. or something from this era. I just don't know if 21 Savage made the most sense. Yeah. You know? That's fair. But I love this. I love some of them's work and I love this cover, but for what it is, I feel like it kind of sits somewhere like a C to me. Yeah, I would agree with a C. Next, now this one got recommended for a specific reason, I believe. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. We've got Hive Mind by the internet. God dang it, I love it. So yeah, let me tell just quickly yeah. the story of this we've been asked this a few different times mm-hmm. uh, we we existed before this album came out as mm-hmm. hive mind we had been probably going for a little less than a year and everybody was texting me like uh oh uh oh you gonna change your name you guys gonna change your name and we didn't we, we were still hive mind and there are plenty of hive minds out there yeah. you know plenty of competitors liberal hive mind they probably did not know who we were we no. had like a hundred subscribers yeah. or something <laughs> so I don't think that they took it from us and but we didn't take it from them so yeah. And they were coming off their debut album, which was, like, massive success. Yeah. And so, like, that was kind of everyone's feeling, at least, like, around us was, like, man, we all loved this first album, and now this band we're all excited about is naming their album after your guys' little startup that has, you know, 100 followers right now. Like, get out of the way. It was almost like people were like, come on, move over. This album's going to be great. Right. And I was rather disappointed with this record. Me too. Um, But my retort, by the way, to people saying that at the time was, they're called the internet. Yeah. You know? Like, if they can be called the internet, I think we can be (laughs) at the same name as one of their albums, you know? But our backup YouTube channel name was Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, so... Yeah, it doesn't make it. I don't think people are catching the references. No. (laughs) That or Super Nova Scotia, which... I don't know. Just, I like them both, but not for us. Yeah. Or Dave Matthews Band, but B-A-N-N-E-D. We Ooh, thought about that, too. Yeah, like, I remember that. Because yep. we were going to kind of be edgelords or something. I don't really remember, but... No, we just decided to be ourselves, yeah. and we stuck to it. But I love this photo, and I like the font. Um, I don't like the placement of the text very much. Uh, I do like the photo. I feel mm-hmm. like this is kind of promo photo vibes, yeah. though. It sits very middle for me. I yeah. think their other cover is more iconic with the yeah, orange background sure. and everything. Most definitely. This is a C to me. Make it a D. They stole our name. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's fair. <laughs> that being said, we'd love to work with you guys. We're oh, big fans. Whole gang. Sid, everybody. Steve. We're big fans. <laughs> All right. We got 50. Get rich or die trying. Woo! Talk about iconic. Yeah. I don't understand it, though. What is he, behind the glass? It's just like glass that a bullet went through. That's how mm-hmm. I always thought of it. It's yeah. like he's the bulletproof man. He's been shot nine times. Like, he's getting shot at, and look at him. Nothing on him except perfect abs. Yeah, and what? We got Burberry pants on. And a Jesus piece sitting right in the middle. It's almost like Jesus Stop blocked the, the bullet. Genius. The Jesus bullet. from Nazareth has just stopped the bullet from hitting 50. <laughs> this is as iconic as possible. Yes. And this was such, this was CD era. I so literally like, think of it as a CD. Yeah, you like, can't help it. Yeah. But like see it in square physical form in your mind. Like, yeah. And I think art has changed a little bit mm-hmm. like with that, like as we moved out of that era and like now we're seeing like just on Spotify and Apple Music, I mm-hmm. honestly think you can design and make different art because people interact with it on like a digital interface. Totally. Medium is the message. Yes. That's the, like people design for the way people are going to see it. Yes. And at this time they were designing it for CDs. That's yeah. how people were going to see And this it. has like the gimmick of, oh, my CD case looks cracked. Exactly. You know, the Guns N' Roses greatest hit CD looked all scratched up. And this is one of the reasons I loved it besides the fact that November Rain and Paradise City were on it, you know? Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. uh-huh. This is an S, dude. 50s oh, album, easy. this is up there. It's absolutely an S. They made um, a movie after this. They made a video game after this. They did it all. Yeah. Hey, Graydon, before we get into other albums like Tyler the Creator's Igor, Drake Scorpion, or Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats Unlocked, should we tell them a little bit about our sponsor, OK Drugs? Let's do it, Riley. All right, let's kick it to the guys. That's right, guys. Our video today is sponsored by OK, OK Drugs. Drugs. CBD, peach, eatables, non-psychoactive. They're vegan, they're gummies. And they're good. I've noticed since the bars have reopened, mm-hmm. I've I kind of re-earthed my fear of peeing in public, especially when I'm next to other gentlemen at the urinals. Ah, yep. And, and the peach eatables have come in handy. I pop a couple there, and I just wait uh, 20 to 40 minutes. Yeah, okay. And then my stream comes much easier. Now, do you wait in the bathroom the whole time? Yes. Or? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, there's usually, a, there's been big lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hold my spot. Mm-hmm. Just and kinda, hold your pee. Well, I don't have a choice. The uh-huh. nerves are, and the anxiety is killing me. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. ripping my urethra closed. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it kind of eases as 
my anxieties are relieved by these peach eatables. Yeah, I've also been pretty stressed recently, and you know mm. uh, more than anybody, there's only two things that help my stress. Oh, yeah. Okay? One of them is these peach eatables from OK Drugs, and the second one is singing. I love to sing. It calms my nerves, and everybody loves to hear my voice. Holy smokes, you got a good baritone on oh, you, buddy. Thanks, man. Speaking of good baritones, uh, good deals, 20% <laughs> off when you use code HiveMind at checkout. OK Drugs website is linked in our description. Please go pick up your own today. 20% off on us. That's almost half price. That It's close. <laughs> so please go get yourself some today. We love OK Drugs. They're our longtime sponsor, now longtime friend. Yes. And we got some real cool stuff cooking with them. Keep your eyes out. But for now, thanks again. Let's get back into the video and back into ranking these albums. And we're back, and we're back to the tier list. I don't know what you're saying. I think this kid's got a shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Come on. Olivia Rodrigo's Sour. The lilac background. Yes. Beautiful. Now this one also art directed by Liam Walsh, who we know. Ah, okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, big. Crazy for him. I yeah, couldn't believe huge it. Huge place. Yeah. Man. This one is really, really cool. Really playful. Um, kind of a photographer's take on yeah. the album cover for sure. Mm -hmm. But doing a lot of physical work that I think is super yeah. impactful, super iconic. Like the tabs that say sour yeah. on, on her Are they tongue. all like physical stickers? Yes. Okay, all of cool. this is placed on her. It's practical. It's a practical effect. Yes. Yeah, very cool. It almost like speaks to the like, you know, you get like this angst from like these Disney stars or whatever they're rising into actual music and labels are being stuck on them. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. People are putting their own imagery on them, but then they're behind it. Yeah, totally. This is cool. And a great record. Wow. Yeah, I, I I really like the Olivia Rodrigo album. I think it's pretty good. But I think this is just a perfect encapsulation. I think it's well directed. It's well put together. And just physically capturing this as the shot, because you could easily do all of the work to get the stuff on her face and everything, put the thing on her tongue and not get this expression. Right. But it is a perfect expression and yeah. people are going to mimic this for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. Easily. My dad di did it first. He uh, said, mm, yep. Ah. <laughs> well, your dad always does that though. Pretty yeah, much kind any, of his any new pop record, he's He just mimicking does the that. album cover, yeah. yeah. But Halloween this year, I'm sure we're gonna be seeing these. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people out there, a lot of, you know, uh, what I like to call mental drifters, you know, mm -hmm. kind of the hippie types mm -hmm. that will be doing four tabs of acid on Halloween that each one says S-O-U-R. You know how the deal goes. Yeah. Acid on Halloween. <laughs> Everybody does it. It's the freakiest <laughs> night of the year. Um, This is A? It's an S for me. It's an S? That's right, my vote. Throw it up there. You like it? I love the color enough to throw it up there. Oh, yeah. Lilac. Next, we got Unlocked, Denzel Curry and Kenny Beats. This one's awesome. It is so crazy. This is such an easy style to go wrong with. Totally. One little unbalanced thing in one spot makes it just all look like one thing. Yeah. But this has like the depth, the hand coming out, like enough action going on in the back. Like you can see it all. You kind of travel through it as you look at it more. Yeah. And what I love about this is it is evocative of kind of like... Uh, left field underground hip hop from yeah. from 15 years ago, mm -hmm. and as Denzel was kind of stepping out of that and becoming more of a mainstream act or someone that at least a lot of people know about, mm -hmm. it almost feels like homage to that. Yeah, in a way, a little. Yeah, it's just it feels more like the artwork of from that era yeah. or that style. Um, and this was done by an Instagram artist named Chris Wilson, okay. who I had didn't. I didn't know that he did this, and he's done work for Turnstile and Turnover, a lot of cool like emo and punk bands from the underground, and sitting at like 9,000 followers on Instagram, Casual. made one of the best covers that I've ever seen in this style. Yeah, it's really good. And the crumpled- Yeah, I was just about to say that. It's like a, it's like a crumpled license plate yeah. that says parental advisory, <laughs> like in so the muck. Cool. The kind of like tattoo style slime fire mm -hmm. on his on his fist is sick. Yeah, it's really excellent. Down to the last detail. See, this is another one where I want it to be S. Well, I'm down for S. This, okay. is one, this one's really good. I could hang that up as a 
50 foot poster in my house, you know? I would. Somebody sends me one, 50 by 50, I'll cover, I, I don't have walls that big. Send me a 5950 with this design on it, I'll wear it at least. <laughs> <laughs> Lids gotta start carrying these. Now we've got- Another big rap album. Weezer's The Blue Album. Do we even have to talk about it? Just put it at the top. You, you wanna put it at the top? Yes. We've gotta recreate this. Oh my Me, God. Me, you, Grant, Alex, Blue Album. Hide mine. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. Be, we gotta get shirts, like same shirt. God, the era of undershirts too. Look at those big undershirts. Who's on. wearing undershirts under a button down these days? Yeah. yeah, this is amazing. I mean, it is crazy that you can make an album that is this iconic, just four dudes standing next to each yep. other. In baggy jeans. Just kind of reminds me of the Wiggles for some reason too, yep. but hey, I love it. Uh, it's an S. First album I ever bought with my own money. I remember going into the CD shop and looking through Weezer and was like, eh, gotta start from here. What made the shop so seedy? Much requested. Uh-huh. Cemetery's Rainbow Bridge 1. I'll <laughs> let you take the reins on this one. It's the dogs for me. And the fact that, like, my mom used to always tell me when our dogs would die mm -hmm. growing up, they would cross the Rainbow Bridge into doggy heaven. Yeah. You know, and now, now knowing that Cemetery was there to greet them, <laughs> I'm a little sad. Those dogs probably got chopped up by a chainsaw or something. Yeah, he, he will meet you in the woods with his chainsaw uh -huh. and, and he'll lay you down next to your dog. It's brutal, it's grainy, it looks like old internet meets like the worst dream I've ever had. Uh huh. And then the sun and the rainbow juxtaposition with the truey and like, I mean, it's got everything. How many people would you kill for that much true religion? I can think of one. What? <laughs> it's like when someone who is actually well versed in graphic design mm -hmm. makes a purposefully bad meme. Yeah. That is what this is. It's yeah. just like supposed to be fried and ridiculous, but you'll never forget this once you see it. No, and if you weren't good at it and you went to make something fried and ridiculous, it wouldn't even be come close to this ridiculous. You know what I mean? I know, yeah. It takes like doing it all and then pulling it all back in. As far as internet images go, it's probably my favorite of all time. Uh, I don't know what else to it say. It belongs about in the it. Louvre of yeah. internet images. <laughs> there is going to be, there's going to be yeah. some modern. It'll be like, like an NFT Louvre. They need to make an NFT Louvre, like a bathroom, so we can like a, a piss on them. I knew it was gonna be a joke, good joke, so I just left the bathroom. That's cool, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad it ended well. So I hate to just keep this string going, but you know. It's an ass. Okay. <laughs> Um, this one's hard to rank. This is Tay K's Santana World. Yeah. Most famously known as the cover of The Race right. by Tay K. And it's just him fanning out a bunch of money. Also taken on literally probably like an LG chocolate or yeah. something like that. <laughs> something, something I of that tried sort. to find a high quality version of it. That, it does not exist. Yeah. It is grainy as hell. It's like. I like the quality. sewer drain, the gold spokes on the beamer in the background. We uh -huh. have some extracurricular imagery things going on, but it's as basic and low quality as you can get for an iconic piece of music. Like I was saying about Issa, it kind of reminds me just of an era of SoundCloud where you would just kind of right. use like a, a cell phone picture yeah. and that's what would become iconic. Yeah. You know, like X did that a lot too. Yeah, and there obviously wasn't time to put a lot of thought into this album cover. Yeah. Being on the lamb and all, you know, <laughs> yeah. like. <laughs> this is a really hard one for me to rate. I legitimately don't know where to put it because it is, it's very iconic, but, and it's not like so bad that it deserves an F or anything. Right. It's just kind of like, ah. It's a B. All right. Right next to Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. So Naturally. Sometimes that's just how, how it works out. Pixel Bath, Jane maybe, Dawson. Maybe my favorite album cover from last year. I think so too. I it absolutely is, fell in love with it. And it made me fall in love with the music too. It just has this like pristine, crystal clear photography thing. It almost looks fake. Yeah, you and, know? It, and it's like futuristic. It's like the newest age face mac, face mask and a helmet design too. Yeah. And then the, this visor that is, you know, a prism of color. Like it feels like space age football almost, you yeah. know? Yeah, it definitely feels at least 10 years in the future. Yeah. Um, I don't think it matches the music particularly like perfect for no. me because it just kind of feels like like indie rock right but at the same time it's just such a pristine image so it's beautiful it. it's glistening and it's futuristic and i think i get all those things from the music as well that's so true that it works for me let's go big a on them oh come on you're going s you it you, is my favorite from last year yeah you don't like yeah. giving s's do you no i don't yeah it's an s it's an s i mean we when you got 50 weezer and graduation up there it's tough you know what i mean here i'll, I'll do this for you 
Okay, yeah, um, at least get those three over there together. Yeah. Um, next, we got six dogs. Uh, first off, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. This was a much requested one. Um, one thing I do know about this is that Six Dogs himself did all of these drawings and uh-huh. had a really specific drawing style. Um, this I like because it's very homespun. Yes. You can tell it's like kid in his room, had his friend take a picture, even maybe like self-timer. Mm-hmm. Really like what seems like a basic photograph of just kind of like a kid growing up, but then decorated in a way that shows your personality. Yeah, it's you know? personal. Yeah. So, and then this is very of the era too, doing like the multicolor inlays of borders and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't love it like from a graphic design standpoint no. or anything, but at the same time, I love how much it shows his personality. Yeah, yeah I think I think honestly a C is fine, but I, I love this project. Yeah. I absolutely love this project. Uh, I love a lot of Six Dogs music and I love his drawing style as well. Just from like a technical standpoint, it's like... Scissors control. Such a good one. Almost looks like a postmodern thing. Like it, this looks like a EMP went off and she's living in like a post-apocalyptic world. Yep, I've always thought that too for yeah. some reason. It gives that <laughs> weird vibe. But in- Man, it's all junk. We don't need any of it now and not in this day and age. <laughs> like we're just trying to contact somebody. Like nobody's responding on the radio. I heard the last survivors are on the sun. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other end, I think it's very funny from like, I've made album covers before, you know, as a photographer, as a graphic designer. <laughs> <laughs> just to relax. But uh, I think about it as like, I could easily look at this photo and be like, ah, we didn't really get the one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just from a photography standpoint, it is very iconic. I love what the setup that they did and everything. Mm-hmm. But then when I start to analyze it, I'm like, it's kind of a weird photo to be like, that's the one. Yeah. I do like that she has a very locked, like center gaze uh-huh. right on focus. But yeah, I can see what you mean. A little of the balance seems a little off, like the leg position. Just it does. I know what you're saying. It doesn't yeah. feel like maybe it was the one, but I actually respect that they were able to see that this was the one. Yeah. I just don't think I could have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fair enough. Let's go away. Next, we've got <laughs> Lil Nas X's Seven. So this one famously was supposed to have some kind of like hidden imagery to, uh-huh. to as him like kind of pre coming out, Mm -hmm. you know, it was supposed to symbolize like there's a rainbow hidden here somewhere. Okay. um, That he's kind of on his journey to expressing himself in that way. And this is confirmed by him? Yes. That being said, this to me is photoshopped like garbage. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Like where, what are we... Coming into here, is this just like a valley of mountains? Is it legs? It almost <laughs> looks like a crotch type scenario. Oh, okay. I can you see that. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the big crotch of the city. I think that would be cooler. In, yeah. Walking yeah. into the crotch of the city. Yeah. That's just where my head goes. It's uh-huh. like kind of like naked trucker flaps and those kind of things. Yeah, Silhouettes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. City but, crotch. I love and that. And like the moon beam is too much for me. Yeah. There's something weird going on too. I always kind of picture him holding like a surfboard in his left arm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's got like a weird shape over there. He's got the guitar on the back, the uh-huh. horse, the stupid weather pane or whatever in the middle with the rooster. Yeah. Yeah. This to me is an, is an F. Yeah. I respect Lil Nas X. I liked this project. I actually think it's kind of overhated. Yeah, I definitely do too. I like this project but a I, lot. But I goddamn hate this cover. Yeah. I mean, I don't even equate like... I never think about this cover. Even when I go back to this project, I'm like, I almost like kind of uh, just play a random song. Yeah, you know? I think of pictures of him more, yeah, way more iconic absolutely. than this. So. And like a great photograph of him in an awesome outfit or something, I think would have gone a lot further. Yeah, totally. Yeah. All right. Now, pro- the most requested, the single most requested by our Patreon, Igor, Tyler, the creator. Simply beautiful to me. I love like the crops. Mm-hmm. We got the head chop. Like, it feels like you had a pink piece of paper and then, like, you cut out the photo of him or whatever and laid it on there. It's a zine style. Yeah, zine That's, style. It just reminds me of punk zines from yeah. back then. And then it, I don't know, that little, like, peer into that just really feels like Igor, like the project. Yeah. Like, I know it's a breakup album. Right. I know all those things. But it's just, like, it has this weird punk energy yeah. to it, but it's also bright and colorful. Mm-hmm. It's Yeah, this is really, really, like zeroed in on what this album feels like. Yeah. And like in today's day and age, this is one that a lot of people I feel like will buy on vinyl. Mm. Like if you know friends that are collecting albums, this is one they're going to add to their collection. And seeing this big is like sick. My only qualm with this one that I think is kind of weird Mm. is that Tyler's not wearing the wig to be Igor like on the cover. 
which I always thought was just a little bit of a weird disconnect. It doesn't always like ring to me that way though. Like I no, sometimes I don't even like, yeah. think about that. But then like when I think about it, I'm like, that is kind of weird. Yeah. If you're in this character for this entire project, it, it's almost weird that the cover doesn't have the wig. Yeah. But that's like a minor detail. Yeah. I think this is an incredible album cover. I think too. all of Tyler's are basically perfect. Yeah. He's kind of like Kanye in that way to me at least. Very, very good at album artwork. You know what? I'm going to vote A. Okay. I'm fine with A. Okay. I think it could be an S. But that's just because I like it a lot. And when yeah. I like things a lot, I usually just go for S. But I'll, I'll, I'll settle on the A with you. Front of the A's, though. Rihanna's Anti. You like it? It is one of the... It's like... It's my favorite cover of hers. Yeah. And for like pop, R&B type adjacent records of this time, it was like the one. Mm. Like I, I can't even think of other ones when I go back to that time. I like the triple vision thing. Mm -hmm. I love that it's like, it's disorienting to look at when you focus on one, it makes your eyes do that thing. Um, I love the crown over the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I also love that Rihanna's promo images for this album were same color scheme with the crown over her eyes yeah. like that. Um, I also am always been curious about this. It really does look like Ohio. Ah, you're right. It looks like the Ohio, like the shape of Ohio. Just the, the bottom line. part, though. Yeah, the Ohio River. Yeah. It's kind of cutting off our hometowns, which that's, is weird. That's just our Ohio bias. No one else sees Ohio in this. I'm very stupid geography-wise, so mm. I is Barbados shaped like this? Because she's from Barbados. No. It's not? So this, there's no way this is Barbados? No. You think it's Ohio? It's just supposed to be red. All right. Also, it has Braille all over it, mm -hmm. which I think is awesome. Very cool. So I wonder um, if anybody out there has this on vinyl. Let me know if it has Braille. Ooh, I'm sure it does. Yeah. And it's just like amazing that it's a Rihanna album cover. You know what yeah. I mean? It, this looks like a – this could be like a Foo Fighters album cover <laughs> yeah. or like a, a sick rock band, you know, from the 90s or mid-2000s. And I also think it's always a bold choice for a pop star uh, in their prime – to make an album cover that doesn't have them yeah. on the, or a modern representation of Absolutely. them on the cover. Yeah. I think that's always a strong choice. And for what this album sounded like, I think it parallels really well. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I think it's an S. Let's go S with it. Scorpion by Drake. Perfect hairline. <laughs> a perfectly groomed beard. Slight duck lips. Mm -hmm. Just a hunk, really. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is all on vanity shot. With the skinny picture plopped on the black background, Signed by Aubrey Graham himself, Scorpion 2018, written in metallic Sharpie marker. Yeah. I think this one is kind, it's just kind of corny. It is, yep. It doesn't, I don't know. It feels just like it could match any music that Drake's ever made, but not specifically Scorpion more than anything else. Right. It doesn't it, feel like a lot of work was done to no. decide what Scorpion was going to look like. It feels like hearkening back to the Take Care era, yeah. where that kind of vanity and that kind of cheesiness was just in, and that was like passable, playable. But even that was maximalist, and For it sure. had a room full of right. gold and a table, and there's an expression to it. This is like a headshot of yeah. Drake. And in between those two albums, we had better album covers by Drake. Easily. You know Almost I mean? all of them are yeah. better. This is, like, I just feel like this is just basic. Like, it, I want to give it a D because it's like, yeah. with all the resources in the world, Absolutely. this is just kind of a boring choice. I agree. All right, now we got another very requested one. Mm -hmm. Danny Brown's Atrocity Exhibition. Love it. Love this one. Yeah, absolutely love it. Especially the typography. Probably my favorite typography of the day. Mm -hmm. I love that it's like cut up. This one is another one that feels like old punk records, yep. old uh, 80s post-punk stuff, which you hear on the album. Even like old funk stuff with like the stretched out colorful face and like or like psychedelic kind of imagery, which is obviously a big part of his music too. Yeah. It's damn near perfect. Yeah, it's digital punk. It just feels very much like what the album sounds like. I always, always, always think of this cover when I hear one song from it and yep. immediately snaps in my head to yeah. this cover. And that's um, a perfect cover. Yeah, I would get this. Uh, it looks like it'd be perfect as like a bandana. Oh, yeah. You know, pop down yeah. a shirt, poster, all that. What do we think? I think an A. I think an S. I'm sorry. I think it's an S. <laughs> said perfect cover. Yeah, I did say it. Uh, this one requested by our Patreon. Plants vs. Zombies original soundtrack. <laughs> Now, this is really interesting here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you've got like a strung out lumberjack zombie in the mm -hmm. background there. Um, you've got a cute little mushroom in the front. Yeah. You've got kind of a flower trumpet with diamond head. Tooting his own toot. You've also got like, what is that? Like a pear or a squash or a something? A sloppy pear. Seems to be a pear on his way transitioning to a zombie. Ah, okay. Seems like a pear got eaten by a zombie and now he's like, I'm a pear. Oh yeah, one of those. Uh-huh. And then you got the Venus flytrap yep. uh, and the sunflower 
sunflower who is giving sunflower music lessons to them. Yes, trying to teach them how to do it all. To Dougie, I assume. Probably teaching yeah. them how to Dougie. Um, this is an F. F, yeah. yeah cool. It's an F. Right, we can just pop that down there. All right, we got T-Lop 4. Oh, this is the O-Rod cover without her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took O-Rod right out of this one. Strangely enough, this one fits the music really well. Yeah. It is all purple. I think of Pierre's music as purple in my head. Yep. And I'm not, listen, I'm no synesthete. But I think that we, that's, that's it's a everybody. a joke right there. Everybody does. I think they all think of it like yeah. this. It's very fitting, and I don't know why. And you know, the rumor is that this is actually a really close-up picture of Pierre's cup. Right there. Yep. <laughs> that's the one, Pierre. We're going to use this one. <laughs> yep. I don't know what to do with this one, though. It's just, it's literally like a Pantone swatch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I love it. it. B? B. B seems a little lonely. They only got two up there. Right, yeah. We could just fit, fit it right in there. Uh -huh. just my OCD, you know? Kind pur of purple <laughs> square. <laughs> All right, this one we got. 1-800-Pain's Best House on a Bad Block. Very eerie vibe that you get from this one. Yeah, I mean, this is as horror movie as we've gone, really. Mm. Besides Cemetery, obviously. Right. <laughs> but this house is, like, really crazy. A triple decker here with a door up on the second floor that's open, and we get to see through the window there, and then you got that horrific third floor. Yeah, it's all like tipply topply too. It's like yeah. all lippity lopsided. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's flippity flopped up and around in awkward ways. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like like pizzle puzzled out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, I was thinking it was kind of like screwballed and sizzled together, kind yeah. of like <laughs> this way and that way type dealio. It also says warning 24 hour video surveillance, no trespassing rather Ooh. than a parental advisory. See, that's kind of a cool little twist. Um, I, I really admire how much 1-800-Pain has stuck to their theme. Mm -hmm. They are a very thematic group. I mean, I love this cover. I think it's really, really cool. Evokes a real strong sense of emotion of what I'm going to, I feel like I'm, I'm going to go into this house and I'm not going to learn any secrets without paying the price. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what I feel like with their music. I don't really know what is going on in it. It's shrouded in this yeah. like horror, but you just, you don't get to find anything out. No. You just get to bask in the mystery. And, and that's then die. What, right, and that's what I hear or yeah. see here. You know? Absolutely, it's like the horror movie where all the lead characters die at the end. Straight up. Like that one. Strangers. Oh no, I was talking about Charlie Brown Christmas. Ooh, no, that's the Halloween one when they die. Oh, uh, the, the Great giant pumpkin. pumpkin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lands on all of them. Yeah, he kind of he kind of a donk a donks him out, like stomps him out with uh, his ass sort of deal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what they call pumpkin pie. Oh, nice. A A. All right, last and certainly not least, we have Vision Land from YBN Namir. I love it. You love it. And I don't even know if I've ever seen it. You've never seen it? I don't know. if I ha I've, I've never taken a good look at it. I'll right. tell you that right now. This was kind of, uh, it was very prominent in Soul Train going viral. This would right. always be the image you would see. Here's what I'll say. Magnificent painting. Love the color palette. It's yeah, all me too. really well done. It does not look like YBN Namir to me. No, and it doesn't really look, is it supposed, it's obviously supposed to be underwater. Yes. I feel like underwater, your hair would be up, like chains would be a little more floaty. It feels like still a little weighted down. Oh, so you're having uh, trouble believing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like it. <laughs> the physics are off. Oh, okay. I crunched the numbers, and this is a lie. Right. Didn't Just like were, the moon landing. Didn't know you were a marine biologist. But Been there, done it. Speaking of marine biologists, I do kind of wish there was a dolphin in it. Feels like it was just the door was left wide open. No dolphin. Yeah, and we missed an opportunity here to, like, emphasize the fish. They're ah. just... They're just silhouettes. Yeah, I wish I knew which kind of fish they were. The genealogy of the fish is Snapper, kind of important. Snapper, cat, bass, you know, let me know. I'm surprised at how much I do like it. I also don't mind the type. I know I've seen that typeface uh -huh. before. It might be a manipulated one, especially with the eye in the middle, of course. I despise that part. That's my least favorite part about all this. The eye in the middle? The eye in the middle makes me think like travel agency, pet store, mm, or like, you okay. know what I mean? It makes me think like corporate. News something. network. Yeah, yeah, like a corporation. The eyes, like being. Yeah, I also don't like that YBN Namir is just kind of like along an edge here. Yeah. It always takes you out of like. The full photo. Yep, you feel like it's a 3D atmosphere. And when something is aligned to something in the 3D atmosphere, then it takes you out of it. Mm -hmm. That is something that my art teacher taught me growing up. I would always like to sign in these weird places, yeah. and he'd be like, you just sign at the bottom right, because otherwise it takes you out of the thing yeah. that you're doing. I agree. And the other thing that took people out of what I was doing is that I sucked really bad and was making all these bad things, and then people were saying they were good because yeah. I was young, which is cool. I love your paintings. Thanks, buddy. man. <laughs> I mean, this is a B. For whatever reason for me, I like it enough, <laughs> you know? I, I fuck it. I'm down. Okay. Let's get it. Uh, one change. Any changes? One change. Okay. I would like... 
I want to move the logic cover to an S. Oh, okay. Logic cover to an S. <laughs> I feel that actually. I really like it. I think that makes sense. Um, then I feel compelled to take one off of the S and put it on the A. <laughs> okay. I just want to balance things out, yep. you know? Understandable. I'm going to go with Denzel Curry. Okay. I'm going to pull this one down only because I'm looking at these. And, and it I, hurts. I, I'm looking at these. And all of them are so iconic, and I know what's going on. Yeah. And that one doesn't have that thing. You're right. It is an amazing piece of artwork, though. But it's OD, a little bit. Yeah, I also kind of feel like Igor should be an S, but... No, you only get one. That's fine. <laughs> we'll leave it as is. That's our ultimate album art tier list. And just because we said ultimate doesn't mean we're not going to do it again. Leave some no. in the comments. Leave which ones you want to see us ring. And also, join our Patreon. If you would yes. really want to have a say and pick some great albums for us to see, maybe you got one that you can't, you know we haven't seen yeah. and would blow our minds, we'd love to see it. Mm -hmm. Patreon is only $5 a month, literally the best way to support us. Shout out to everybody in our Patreon, our angels, angels, our soldiers, our favorite people on the internet Absolutely. are in our Patreon. Literally, I love you more than my family. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, please comment your disagreements, your opinions, your your frustrations with us, all of that stuff. Let's have a conversation about it. It's going to be fine. We can we can get past this. We'll hash it out. We've gotten right. past through so, so much in the past. <laughs> Once again, thank you to our sponsor, OK Drugs. Please check out the link to their website in the description. You get 20% off when you use code HiveMind. Graydon, would you like to leave our fans and our haters with some advice to leave or live their lives by? The greatest tax haven in the world is the art industry. Just buy art if you got dirty money. All right, this has been Hive Mind TV. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bing, 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 bing